Hello guys, have you ever had a situation where you need some kind of collection method that doesn't exist in the Laravel or Alacron collections? For example, it's a pretty artificial example, but still happens. For example, you have a collection like user all, and you need to choose a winner, which would be like number seven in the list or number X in the list, like number seven or number 15. I remember participating in pop quizzes where there's always like a winner of top one, two, and three, and then some random underdog like number 18 also gets the prize. So something like this. And of course, there is no number N in or number X in collection but in this video I will show you how to define your own collection methods on top of collections. It's really easy to do. So for example you want that method number n so you go to app service provider and in the boot method you add a macro. Macro is basically a fancy word for your custom function on top of collection. So you add collection on top of use then you have your method name if you need a parameter you have a parameter and then you do this as a collection so this is a collection object instance and then you work with that as a collection so skip number one and then first and then you have the result so in my database i have this user table so number seven should be lillian if i did it all correctly refresh lillian but if we pass for example number eight it should be the next user which is xerxes which is exactly that so this is how you can easily create collection macros in Laravel. In the official documentation, you can find extending collection section where it's all written. So with a few examples and arguments or no arguments. And also on top of that, there's a great package from, of course, Spati, who else? Spati has a package called Laravel collection macros, really popular, 1000 stars, where you can find a lot of useful methods. Like, for example, in our case, 7th, 8th, 4th, or something like that. Like, for example, from pairs, I like that a lot. Like, prioritize, tail, try catch. There's even try catch in the collection. So, for example, if you want to catch some exception that happens in the collection, callback function of some kind. So, around 20 or 30 macros. It started actually five years ago, that package. Pretty impressive. So, over five years, they created so many macros. And this is how easy it is to customize the collections or add your custom functionality on top of collections. And also, really similar macros can be created on carbon objects that comes from carbon class. As carbon is part of every Laravel project, you can do carbon macro as well. So for example, if there is a method that you want to use and it's not available in the carbon, you can create your own method like a carbon helper. Same thing in app service provider, you do carbon macro. Of course, you need to add carbon here on top. And then for example, show with time zone. And this is also a hypothetical example without too much logic, but you can provide the parameter like time zone and then self this. So that's the difference. This in the collection refers to the collection. In Carbon, you need to have self this. So then you do whatever manipulation you want. And then, for example, in the controller, you can do user created at, which is Carbon by default, and use your own method with a parameter UTC and get results something like this. And also, there are a few open source macros available. For example, when I found Laravel Carbon Macros with methods related to some countries. So, for example, multinational dates, US dates, is Canada Day, other dates, for example, for Ukraine. So, for example, is Ukrainian Constitution Day, and you can probably contribute to that package with your own country dates. So, is some day for your country. This is just an example of Carbon Macros being used in a package. And I will link all the packages down below in the description of this video. So see how easy it is to extend Laravel. So if you want some custom helper, you can also create them as macros. What do you think? Have you used macros? Shoot in the comments below with any examples where you have used macros. Maybe others will benefit from that. And also subscribe to the channel. Support the channel financially as well by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen. Whenever someone purchases one of them or many of them, I have more free time to shoot free videos on YouTube for you guys. See you guys in other videos.